In this video, we're gonna be mastering every single cameo for Quan Chi. I can confidently say now who I think is the best cameo for Quan Chi, and at the end of this video, I'll let you know exactly who I think it is. But if you like what you're seeing, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow in more ways than one. Starting it off, you know we had to go with our day one cameo, Scorpion, who's still a top three cameo for Quan Chi. Look at the combo we're cooking up. I mean, that's the coolest looking combo I've ever seen. We put him over our knee and we're spanking him repeatedly for the last five seconds. It doesn't matter. He's going to try to zone us with Scorpion. And it's a very choice for sure. We're going to put out a portal and try to zone him back. He does teleport and he doesn't go for the kick, which I was anticipating with the up block. And he's going to make us punish off of that. We're going to catch him off the back three. Our knee is ready for another spanking session and we're going to make it a meter less this time take the round he's gonna go for a very interesting combo um that little thing if it did hit with the scorpion it would actually put him a full combo off of that so it, very interesting tech that he's been doing I, i'm sure that works on a lot of people but not us because we're different he does take the round however beat that fire spinning bullshit that fire spinning bullshit makes me want to put a hole in my monitor but it's okay we restrain ourselves from doing any of that look at what we're doing catch him with a little sky drop we're gonna try to play it safe he's gonna back off and teleport back in so i don't know why the back off was even necessary we're gonna catch him with the full combo again make it look good while we're doing it this time we're only gonna use one cameo though because we don't have the other one available 354 that's still pretty damn good not the most optimal combo i've shown you guys but it just looks too cool to, for me not to do flashy over optimal any day and we take him with the one two into the watermelon throw and we get the win if you're new to Quan Chi, I highly recommend Scorpion. I think he's the best one to start off with. Now, next up, we have Motaro, and let me tell you something. On paper, this doesn't seem that good, right? Uh, but Motaro's actually probably at towards the top of the line. Um, he helps him with zoning, um, which a lot of cameos really don't do besides like Sub Zero, Frost, and Serena, you know. And on top of that, you can get some cool ass combos like this. Now on paper that didn't combo, right? But if you rewind back and look at when my kick actually hit Katana, it would say a two hit combo. So that means the cage actually comboed her and jailed her in. And now we're just gonna put her in the corner with the, the every single mix up we got in our book. We're just trying to make a rage quit at that point. And right here is when the zoning gets kind of ridiculous. Imagine if I called on Motaro a little late. Like you wouldn't be able to move for a good five seconds and at that point my controller is destroyed if I was Katana. Quan Chi might have the easiest brutalities in this game. Let me know down below what you think is the best cameo for Quan Chi. Next up, we got Cyrax. And one thing that's very cool about Cyrax is that you can actually combo into his net with Quan Chi, which I don't think a lot of characters in the game actually have the ability to do. Now, he is playing Serena, so we're going to be pretty much playing Blocking Simulator for half the round. And we're going to catch him with the 1-2-2. Two, two, and now we're going to have so much time, and we drain a bar of his meter. And look at what we're doing. In the next round, we get zoned out a lot, so we're gonna cut most of that out. We get into a blender with this kid, like he's putting us in a blender. And uh, well, there's not much we can do. We're gonna try to get out of the corner before the round ends at least, but that's not gonna happen, and we're gonna get absolutely waffle stomped. Starting off the round, we're gonna go for the classic kick into the sky drop. It works 90% of the time. I don't know why, but it just does. We're gonna catch him with the kick, and it's gonna be a nice little meterless combo, about 290-ish right there, and we get uh, pretty much our bar saved up. We catch him with the 1-2 into the Cyrax. We're gonna put the portal up, drain his meter. Um, that's the one thing that's crazy about that combo. It also drains his meter. It's not just, uh, you know, my side of things. Now, we're gonna get him with the full combo 353 he's gonna poke us doesn't matter though we have such a life lead all we have to do is not choke and look at this we're going into the blender for serena playing blocking simulator and we somehow get hit by a move that's supposed to be 70 feet in the air and uh, I, I, I don't know how that hit me because that's never hit me in the lifespan of Quan Chi and I think a lot of people can vouch and he's gonna sky drop and give us the game pretty much but uh, seriously the hitbox in this game 
sometimes are ridiculous and they're so inconsistent but it doesn't matter we still get the win so i'm not going to complain too much next up we're using serena i finally get to play the blocking simulator we're going to get caught immediately however and he's not going to be able to complete the combo because we were mid-air and we're just going to show him that we have one of those skeletons too we could have probably gone for a better punish he's going to catch us off the sky drop and i took that a little personally i'm not going to lie not the most optimal combo especially when you drop it but it's okay though he's going to go for the overhead we're going to block it we're going to throw a jack skeleton at him he's going to throw one right back and we're going to go for the serena block simulator we're going to end up catching him just crouching and not blocking he's breaking that of course he is um and then he's going to catch us off the grab and take the round you know a lot of info that round we know exactly what he's doing we just got to figure him out we're going to go into a zoning battle i mean this is like the biggest fight since thanos versus the avengers i'm not going to lie and then we we're, we're going in putting him into the block simulator go for the low again because he's not blocking and we're going to spend the meter spend the two bars and get the 350 360 uh damage we can possibly get off of this 366 off two bars that is horrible but it's all right that move should be one bar i don't care what anybody says we are also draining his meter in the process we're gonna go for the tongue go for the safe spot and right there we can actually down poke and he can't because uh, i think i believe we're plus like i'm almost 90 percent sure um we're gonna go for the plus again and then go for the little down one down three down four it doesn't matter what you want to do you can do them all You know, watching your opponent block for 10 seconds straight is a lot of fun. I mean, it, it, it sucks when you're in the position to just play block simulator, but when you're on the side where you're making them block, it's the best feeling in the world. Next up, we're using a lot of people's favorite Sub-Zero, and uh, we're going to try to be a zoner with Sub-Zero. I don't like zoning a lot in this game, but, you know, um, we're, we're going to end up doing it because Sub-Zero helps us a lot. We thought that she was going to block that, so that's why we threw out that Sub-Zero, and we're just zoning him out, absolutely going crazy, kick him in his ass, and put out the portal, do it all over again. We're going to put Sub-Zero's little shield up right now too just in case that Shijinko tries to do anything. It is really weird to me that Shijinko gets the portal buff full screen while I have to stay in my own portal but he's going to end up dive kicking and we're going to take the round. I mean, 346 off of one bar is really good for Kwanji. Uh, he struggles to break the 300 barrier with two bars sometimes. We're going to catch him with the hentai tongue swipe, and she's going to go full screen again. And we're going to go for the homing missile skull. I know a lot of people say that Quan isn't good in this game, but in my opinion, I believe that he's in like the higher mid tier. Next up, we got Kano, and Kano surprised me a lot. I find myself saying that like every single vid time I do these videos. Um, I did it with Omni Man and Shao, where Kano surprised me in both times, and Kano has surprised me once again on how good he is. Back to the game, though, he's gonna end up making a mistake, and we're gonna get a full combo off the purple portal, and we're gonna end up dropping it, but we're still gonna get the low to hit. So you know, it's all worth it. We got extra damage off of that. He's gonna go for the low. We're gonna make him just condition for the low. So. When we do need that overhead it's there we're gonna put out the cano knives for extra pressure and we ended up getting the round off of that we had no meter so that's probably the best option we could have probably gone for catch him off the one two put him in more knife toss pressure we're pretty much allowed to do anything when that knife toss comes up unless they block and go for the uppercut that's why we keep going for the low with kano we're gonna poke out go for the overhead into the kano into the low again just so they don't uppercut us and send our head to heaven now we're gonna sky drop and his teleport's gonna beat mine and he's gonna take the round We go for the little low again, condition him as much as possible, go for the low again, he sees me going for the low and we're going to do it again and he still doesn't block it so... That's a pretty neat looking combo and it is 362, we're going to put some knife tosses in his shoulder once again, put some pressure in, go for the pokes, there's literally nothing he can do in that scenario unless he meter burns or armors through that, and even then the knife can just break through the armor if it's timed right. But moral of the story is, please try Kano if you haven't, and let me know down below what cameos you're running with Quan Chi in general. Next up, we are using Sonya, and Sonya is very similar to Scorpion in a way, but the combos are very different. Also, we're gonna just spam our skulls, because if they're there, we might as well. We're gonna hit her with a tongue swipe. 
I'm a little upset I dropped that combo, but it's okay. We have plenty of time to make up for it, and I definitely do. We catch her with the grab, put her in the corner. Now, my whole thing is I want to zone Sindel out because, as I've mentioned previously, uh, Sindel is the most annoying character in this game, in my opinion. Especially with Kung Lao, she becomes number one, and it's not even like close. The fun to block both you have to like react to are just so stupid, in my opinion. But it's all good though, as long as we stay full screen, we do not have to deal with them. We get caught off the low and then we get caught off the overhead like uh, I don't know why I struggle with this character so much We're gonna catch her with a classic kick into the sky drop into the overhead skull And uh, she's gonna go for a random fatal blow thinking somehow that's gonna hit and we're gonna literally do a slow little anime walk and hit her with the grab In the next match, we're playing Sector, and Sector is a pressure god when it comes to pairing him up with Quan Chi and his mix-up. I mean, look at what we're doing. I'm not gonna lie, if I was, if I was the Molina player, my controller is going through the wall and my head is following it right along. We're gonna get him full screen and get him with the little skulls. He's gonna close the gap though. So we gotta be a little careful here. Put us into the little blender that Melina has with the 1-2-2. Two, two. That string is uh, really hard for me to block but I have gotten better at it. Here's the combo that I've been cooking up with Sector. That's one bar 355. That, I'll take that any day of the week. Um, he's gonna catch us off the full combo but... I don't know why he meter burned that because he has Kung Lao and not Scorpion. So it's really hard to combo off of that. He's going to uppercut us, but we do get Sector down in time to take our turn back. And we're going to go for the full combo tentacle and go for the little hentai tongue into the full combo and brutality. Next up, we are using Chijinko, and this one was very rough for me because it's Omni-Man out of all people. And, uh, you know, he has some of the coolest moves that he steals. But it was so hard to get used to and we're just going into a grab simulator at this point. We're going to tech out of every single one. He does end up catching us with a very nice combo. I mean 360 off the of overhead is pretty damn good. We're going to tech the throw again. Go for the little thunderclap and uh, we're going to time him out and win the game. We're playing it very patiently, you know, playing it very smart. Um, we're going to go for the plus frames and he's going to catch us off the overhead and go for a full combo again. Not the neatest gameplay with Shijinko for sure, but since it's Omni-Man and it was all new moves, I feel like I had to show it off. Next up, we're playing with, I think, my favorite cameo right now, um, which is weird enough because I never liked Frost to begin with. Look at this setup. That is 381 off of one bar and a setup that was meterless. That is insane and we take the round off the tentacle. I mean, this, this guy was definitely one of the best Quan Chi's I've faced online. We're going to try to get out of the corner with the, you know, the little sky drop. And we do end up achieving that. We're thinking maybe we can get a comeback. And he's going to just give us the hentai tongue into our leg. And we're going to catch him off this forward kick. And again, into the little sky drop. I don't know why it works like 90% of the time, but it does. We catch him in the jump in. We go for the full meterless combo. But we're not wasting meter. There's no point to. We're not going to waste our fatal blow. We're going to try to set him up, but he does end up sky dropping. If that did hit just like that we would have probably won that game. Now we get him with the little back kick standing four into a full combo once again and we're gonna go for the same exact setup but I messed it up. Uh, my fingers are too big for my controller, that's my excuse.
At this point, I think I've done more brutalities with Quan Chi than my entire top three main characters combined. Next up, we have Kung Lao, and I'm tired of saying this, but Kung Lao is also probably a top three cameo for Quan Chi. Look at this. That's a fun to blockable into an overhead that does 181, and we can meter burn it to make it a full combo, and we get this gorgeous looking combo. I mean, what what is this? It is nuts on how much better Kung Lao makes like every player in the game. Like, I don't necessarily want him to get nerfed, uh, but like the, the holding that hat stuff, that shit kind of gets ridiculous at times. Just like this, look at that. That's an overhead low into another overhead into a full combo. After this video, I don't think you're ever gonna want to look at a brutality from Quan Chi ever again. Next up, we are using Darius, and you know, it's a very weird combo, I will say, but it does work, actually, like, surprisingly enough. I did try throw combos, they don't work unless you're in the corner, and we did, unfortunately didn't get a chance to show them off. But look at this, this is a one bar combo, and it does 373, which I'll take any day of the week. Unfortunately, you know, I think we could only use them like maybe once a round. We do end up catching him off the purple skulls, and we're gonna catch him off the little hentai tongue swipe. That's gonna lead to another full combo, meterless, of course. We're not gonna waste anything on the, you know, first combo of the little round. Especially when it costs two bars, I mean, I still think that's ridiculous. We catch him off the back one too, and he's gonna Motaro break that, put Motaro in his triple tail shots. We're gonna try to jump in the air, try to avoid it, and uh, he couldn't convert off of the little tail shots. We go for the poke into the low of the full combo. This time we're gonna use Darius, and we're gonna end up getting 343 off of that, and he's practically dead if we just spam our skulls, unless he flawless blocks and does that. Like right here, I'm not gonna lie, my butthole is clinched to the absolute max. But we're gonna go in the air and finish him off, and you know, I'm not gonna lie, that little 35 second period almost made me scared. Next up, we got Tremor, and Tremor's also a really good source of damage for Quan. As you see, we can actually combo off of a lot of things that we are not able to combo off of previously. Uh, right here, we're gonna try to catch him with a little kick into our sky drop. That's our game plan for this entire game because that's what's gonna give us the most damage with the tremor. And he's gonna put us into an absolute blender. And he is using Sajinko. That is a that's a complete hard counter to Quan Chi. And it, it is so ridiculous on what Sajinko steals out of Quan. We're gonna catch him off the little portal combo, and we're gonna get a nice little uh, 350, I believe. We're gonna change tremor into metallic, and we're gonna go for the back kick into the little sky drop. He's gonna catch us and go for full damage and look at what he does. He does drop the combo and we gotta fire back. My pride is on the line and this is what we do back. Not the same exact damage but I will argue that mine looks better. We catch him off the low straight into the little fatal blow. Whoever gets the next hit pretty much wins the game. He's going to go for the triple fires and we're going to go for the back kick into the back tremor aftershock and we get the game. Next up we're using striker and striker is another pressure tool that Quan has. Um, I believe sector is a little tad bit better but striker also has his own little perks just like that. Look we were able to combo off of that because he was trying to escape. 132 for that. that that's absolutely crazy. We go for the little overhead into the low. We're going to catch them like that. That, that mix up gets so many people and it's so hard to block and anticipate especially. We catch him off the overhead pretty much mid-range so we couldn't really do much.
Am I the only one that wants that little Sky uh, Raiden Superman thing, you know, where he jumps in the air and goes to the other side of the screen? I want that nerfed, and if you're with me, we need to sign a petition to get that move nerfed. Next up, we have a Shadow Clone of mine facing myself. We are using Jax in this, and Jax is a very tricky cameo to get down, I'm not gonna lie. I think he gave me the most trouble. We're gonna catch him off that little punishable move, and we're gonna get the full combo off of the Jax, and we're gonna drop it. Uh, it's okay, we're gonna make up for it right here. Again, round two, take two, watch this. Perfect, 369 for one bar is, is amazing for Quan. I might have to make a video on the Shao Motaro combo now because they technically buffed Shao, but not really. And it's very interesting, and those overheads are so hard to watch with uh, Motaro on his side, especially with the such fast lows with the plus frames. He's gonna catch us off the full combo 344. He's gonna walk up on us, and we're like, we're kind of taking disrespect at this point. So I'm gonna start taking this personally. Sky drop on his head, and we're gonna jump on the other side. He's gonna up block us, put us in our place. Little baby has put us on his knee and spank us. It's okay though, we're gonna get back up. You know, look at this. We love the big moments. We're gonna go for the comeback, you know, go for the full combo right here and drop it because that's just what we do. We wanna make it a little closer, you know what I mean? Like, it'll be a little too easy if I came back from right there. We catch him off the jump into the full fatal blow. Let's see where this puts us. So it's a one touch game once again. We're gonna drop the Jax into the sky drop. There's literally nothing he could have done and that's one of the best things about Jax in this game. Next up we got Goro and Goro was actually not that bad with Quan. Um, the combo potential really surprised me and you're gonna see some of the combos I'm talking about but we're gonna zone Tanya out and put the Goro up right there for plus frame just so we can get the portal out into the little back kick. She's gonna close the distance. I think Tanya is the worst matchup for Quan Chi. Like hands down. I played so many Tanyas and every single one of them gave me the hardest time. Can somebody tell me why I always drop that in the corner? Like, I feel like it's all up to luck. And I'm, I feel like I'm doing the same timing every time, but whenever I go for the forward uh, four, uh, I feel like I just drop it too much in the corner versus like, you know, mid screen, which is weird because it should be easier in my opinion, but he's gonna catch us off another armor move. Man, uh, Tanya's armor move might be worse than Serena's little blade tosses. Look at this. Look at the chip out. That's literally like four buttons. And then he's gonna just keep smamming his little pole arm and you know we can't really do anything right there but he does misplace the goro so we have a chance of doing something you know go for the pokes go for the little uh spacing control uh, we definitely need it with tanya we're gonna jump over by luck i didn't even mean to do that that was luck we're gonna get a full combo just so i can redeem that last combo 363 that's happily taken he's gonna catch us off the little jump and i don't even want to know how much damage this is gonna do 385 that, that is insane whatever though it doesn't matter we somehow end up landing the 214 into the full combo this is going to do a lot of damage and he does end up breaking it towards the end we're going to go for the goro again she flawless blocks the entire thing and my ass cheeks are clenched once again but we do catch her with the standing four that's going to be it for today in my opinion i will tell you who i think is the best and i believe it's actually frost out of all cameos i don't even like frost as a cameo but she's in my opinion the best cameo for Quan chi and that's gonna be it for today if you want to see more of these types of videos where i master all the cameos i'll put two of them up on the screen and if you like what you're seeing like the video and subscribe to the channel it helps me grow in more ways than one